Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use ProKeys, which is a shortcut application that allowed you to program comments and then use shortcut keys to insert those comments into a Google Doc. This is how it works. You open up a Google Doc. This is just an old assignment. It can be any Google Doc. You highlight the area that you're working with. You click comment and then you type in your shortcut phrase. So my shortcut phrase, say I wanted to tell the student they needed to work on their comma use, I would just type comma and then hit shift space bar and my entire comment auto populates. And you just click comment and look, it turns into a hyperlink. So what I have the students doing here is reviewing their comma rules and I give them a resource to do that. Uh, I find this to be really helpful so I can give more feedback than I would if I was in a rush to leave comments. So another thing I might tell them to do is uh, review active voice, for example. I hit shift space bar after I type active voice and my entire comment auto populates along with a hyperlink to help the students out. I find this to be a bit faster than Google Classroom's comment bank because I don't have to do as much searching. I can just kind of go with the flow and type my comments in. In order to do this, you're going to use a program called Pro Keys. So what I want you to do is open up a new tab. You're going to type Pro Keys in the search bar and open it up in the Chrome store and click Add to Chrome. Mine says Removed from Chrome because I already have it here. It's going to put a K. Once you've had it installed into Chrome, you'll see a little K up in your menu bar up here. Uh, you click that K and it brings you to your Pro Keys home. These are all the shortcuts I have programmed in. And I will actually share my shortcuts with you. I have them exported to a Google Doc. But if you look, I just have some of the basic things that we as English teachers are always talking to our students about. These are statements, sentence structure, capital letters. I mean, these are comments that we've probably left a million times over. And what I've changed is I don't just give them a comment, I also give them a resource to help with that comment. So they're no longer stuck with, oh, she says, you know, fix my comma usage, but I don't actually know what the comma rules are. I'm also giving them a resource to help them with their comma usage. In order to create a new snippet, you simply click this little paper tab in the right hand corner here and you type your snippet in. So this, the, what you type here, snippet name, is going to be what you type in the comment box. And then what you type in the body is going to be the full comment that auto-populates. Okay? So whatever you type here, you would type in the comment box and then hit shift space bar and your whole comment would populate. I really encourage you to put a well thought out comment and then also give a resource so that your students are then helping themselves. If you come back to your snippet home, you'll see any of the comments that you've created. I started this, you know, comment by comment, looking at what I was typing. If I typed a comment three times on three different papers, I made a shortcut for it. And over the course of one assignment, I was able to build my entire comment bank. And I've made very few changes to it since, because if you look back, you've probably made the same comments over and over again. I hope this makes your online teaching life easier. Please reach out if you have any questions.